Flood water ripping through Little Falls, New Jersey with unstoppable force. We have five and a half feet of water. And the time it took him to walk a block, what, three, five minutes? That fast. That, that fast. fast. The water is gone, but the destruction, that's still here. And for Dana Gutschmidt, whose home is on Cedar Street, it's almost everywhere you look. From the water and all the moisture, the ceiling started sagging, so we just ripped it all out. She says the price tag to fix it all, $60,000. That's not including the two cars we lost and all the stuff that inside that we lost. On Thursday, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, was out surveying homes along Gutschmidt Street and other parts of the neighborhood. And they clicked a couple of pictures. The one lady smiled at me, and they kept walking. Like, what is that you. doing? What have you guys been doing for a week and a half now? I only was allowed to move back into my house yesterday. We watched as FEMA agents walked up to damaged homes and assessed from the outside, tallying some of the damage. He said, no, they're not allowed to go inside. They just assess from the outside. So what is that doing? Residents like Gutschmidt can do nothing now but wait and hope FEMA will declare the area worthy of federal help. A little bit of hope found elsewhere, too. The word believe placed by this homeowner on the rubble in front of his home. That's believe. The spirit will be back. That's what that's about. But giving them a little hope. Of course. Yes, right? Of yeah. course. And as for when FEMA will make any decisions about giving any help, so far the organization hasn't said. We're live in Little Falls, New Jersey. Mark Liverman, CBS 2 News.